The number of flu cases spiking 200% over this time last year, and tonight an IV bag shortage could leave hospitals scrambling to treat all those patients. New at 6, ABC Action News reporter Sarah Holland back with the reason it could only get worse for your family from here, Sarah. Well, walk-in clinics like this one have been slammed, and here's the really bad news. The flu virus can stay on your clothes for about 8 to 12 hours, but on a hard surface like a pen like this, it can stay for eight days, which means it can spread very quickly to you and your family. I don't know, I just feel, felt yucky. It's spreading. Like off, like uneasy. And fast. A little bit of a headache, uh, a little bit of body ache. Christy Freiberger just found out she's the latest victim. I can't believe it. No, I, I don't think I've ever had the flu before. Robbie Flanagan coming down with the flu too. It's definitely frustrating. Um, I, I don't ever like to not feel good. So anytime I can avoid it, that's generally the course I prefer to take. But avoiding it this year is harder than ever. The cold weather helped the virus fester as we all stayed inside. And the vaccine is only 10% effective this year. Although Tampa General Hospital nurse Nancy Epps says it's still best to get one. It's better than nothing, and it really is the only prevention that's out there. Nearly every hospital in our area dealing with a big spike in patients. The Florida Hospital Group seeing triple the amount of flu patients compared to last year. And at the same time, hospitals are dealing with a national IV bag shortage. Hurricane Maria caused one of the largest suppliers in Puerto Rico to stop production. Local hospitals tell us so far the shortage has impacted their supply, but hasn't hurt patient care. But as flu cases rise, it's something they're watching very carefully. <coughs> Hospital workers' best advice, as tough as it may be, stay home when you're sick. It's not like when you're a kid and you miss school. Work is a lot more important and can't always afford to miss it. And unfortunately, some more bad news from, for you. Flu season is far from over. So hospital workers say grab your hand sanitizer and use this as much as possible in the coming weeks. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.